Oh crap, no, 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 no. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 2 of Alpha 18 Stable Build. As you guys can see, we have survived the night neat nicely, and no zombies seem to have shown interest in me, which is a comfort, uh, comforting thought. As you guys can see over here, we have dynamite on us, just in case we need it later on. Uh, we have our own pick, our stone axe for wood, and then our two weapons, and then the last minute weapon, the shotgun. That's just going to be for dogs or whatever that gets in my face. Last episode was quite a good episode. We got a stun baton, two rather. We got a ton of ammo and we got a nail gun. So as soon as you need to upgrade, that's going to be awesome. And oil, 24. <laughs> so that is really good. Now as you guys can see for skills over here, intellect level 3 and then we need to get to the second one of here for the workbench. So we need to level up two times today. One for intellect and one for the advanced engineering. Let's just hope that there's actually a place here. Oh, no, 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 no. Why am I getting so much stutter right now? I'm gonna have to quickly restart the game because of all this lag. And there's a snake following me, so for that as well. Okay, be right back. Okay, so let's hope that fixed the lag. I mean, I reinstalled this whole game just to be able to play it, and now I'm getting insane frame. Still, I might have to st uh, restart the whole game. Like, close down Steam, because every time I look up, I get lag. I don't know what's causing it though, and that's really annoying. Look at that vulture. The frames are superbly low, I think. Five frames per second. Yeah, I'm gonna have to close down the whole game quickly. Okay, so the vulture seems to be moving a little bit faster now. So let's just hope that means... Yep, the lag is fixed now. I really hate these lag issues. Okay, so there's oil shell right over here. Right here, and there's a bird's nest that we haven't looted yet. Hello, snakey snakey. Okay, and one shot dead. Nice. Okay, so we're just going to take this off quickly and use the bow knife. It's really going to suck if all of a sudden there's a dog or something spawned in behind us. Okay, so at least we are safe for now, it seems. Spear goes back on me, and let's go. I should actually quickly drop the food off, but um, we might just get more food in this place, so there's no need to drop stuff. If you're basically going to get it anyways. Okay, so... No, 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 no. I hate the fact that I dropped my spear just again. At least this time I found it quite easily. Okay, so at least he's not mad at me yet. But come on, there has to be a better way to do headshots in this game now. It's so easy to miss these shots. Okay, so I managed to hit a moving target and the vulture is still above us. Okay, so... No, 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 no. That was an accidental right click. We just need to watch out that we don't accidentally get damaged because then the vulture is going to attack us from up high. Because there's a massive place over there we could still loot the factory, but I think we're going to take it slow, building up to that. And then you could use, you should really pick up, because later on we might just need to cool down and then you could use is going to be the best option. We should technically get the aloe as well because as you guys know, aloe helps you make bandages. Okay, so this is looted. Let's just pick up all the stones you come across as well. Yeah, Vulture, I hear you. But yeah, last episode was really awesome. Let's just hope this episode is on par with that one. There's a ton of... Corn over here. That is a farm. I know in the roof there's going to be loot. And then I think there's one box up there. So that is really some a place to go loot. But the problem is sometimes there are bears and crops in there. So I don't know if perhaps going in there now early game is going to help me out a little bit with that. This is locked. How do you get in there? Okay, let's go up and hopefully loot this place efficiently and quickly. Oh wow, from moment I thought that was a... Hello there. From moment I thought that was a mini bike over here. That would have been so cool. Because now we just need to watch out that we don't get caught up in this place. I want to be able to get to that over there. So jump and... Nope. I want to jump up and crouch just before I hit that. And voila. Okay, so now I can loot this quickly. Problem now is I'm stuck in this little, small hole over here. So if a zombie decides to charge me, I am screwed. 
It doesn't seem like there's a zombie around. Yeah, there might be upstairs because I definitely heard the breathing of a zombie just now. This is hope. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? I just didn't see it. Damn. No, 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 no. Don't get angry, please. And no, 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 no. Come on, Jean. You have to hit her. Thank you. That was really bad. I didn't see her stand up in the corner over here. Let's just hope there isn't any more cave floor over here. That we can fall in and get hit by zombies from all sides. I hate those floors. I mean, it's, it's awesome when you think about it because there's such an element of danger to the game now. But it sucks when you get hit. All of a sudden. And now this goes down. Is there something behind these? Nope, that's 1,000. That's 1,000, so I'm guessing no. Now, please tell me there are no dogs. At least we do have our shotgun over here. Should we encounter a dog or two, but let's just hope that's not the case. Sometimes in these mines, there definitely are dogs. Wow, this biome is chock-a-block full of coal. So later on, that's going to come in real handy. Living, never having to worry about coal. Okay, so how do we get in here? It seems we're going to go around to that side. I'm going to walk with my shotgun just in case we come across a dog. I should actually technically fire it. And then see if I get a response from a dog. Oh crap, come on, John. I can't afford to miss every shot like that. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Bye-bye. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just drew the attention of everything in here. Let's just get him off the tracks because I don't want him jumping up just before I shoot. Reload and where is my javelin now? If I'm not mistaken, I threw it that direction. There it is. Okay, so it glows when you get close enough, but not always. Please don't fall into my head. I have a really bad feeling about this. That's why I still have the shotgun on me, just in case a zombie decides, you know what, let's just fall in on this guy. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's anything else over here. That shot should technically have woken up this whole place. So let's just hope. Nope. I'm going to say, let's just hope that's the case, but there's definitely something still in here. Hello, where are you? This side? Nope, this side. Oh, upstairs. You're definitely upstairs trying to fall in, aren't you? Let's just go catch her quickly before she decides to bring friends from behind. Ooh, there's a zombie right there. Let's just see if I can do a little bit of sneak damage first. Oh, that's too high. Too short. Nice, finally. Then now, where is that zombie? There's definitely a zombie underneath us as well, so we need to watch out she doesn't come up behind us. Oh, come on. I'm really getting sick of missing these shots. Now, where the hell's my spear? Downstairs. Nope, right there underneath her. It's so easy to miss these shots. Where's other zombies? Where's the Hello there, lady. Nursey nurse. They're coming out of holes. I, I don't see the holes until they're right here. Oh, well, she's going to be mad. I did two power attacks to her just now. Oh, there's a zombie here somewhere. I hope she's not too mad at me. Where is she? Okay, we need to get up there. Please don't fall down, John. Not supposed to fall down at the present. And where am I supposed to go, though? Downstairs. Oh, we can actually go down here. Now, ooh, hello there. And while you're down, power attack, thank you. Okay, let's see. Is this locked? Yeah, it's locked. So this is the door we were at earlier. No, 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 no. Don't waste your stamina, Jean. Let's just walk a little until we regain a little bit more. There's definitely still a zombie whacking some wood somewhere. Oh, come on! Oh wow! That is a nice... Sorry for the miss. Okay. This guy we can't afford to miss. These guys are creepily fast when they start to run. See, the problem is I keep going for headshots. And we've already determined that headshots are extremely 
difficult, especially with a thing missing like a millimeter. You literally miss a shot that's so easy to do. So trying to be fancy. Oh, there's still a zombie here somewhere. Okay, now I do have the shovel on me, so we can quickly pick up these resources as well. I think that's going to be the best for now. Let's just quickly grab a shovel. Okay, now where are you? She's going to come down this ladder. I just have this feeling she's going to come down. I wonder if she's trailing us or if she's actually upstairs where we still need to go now. We just stand over here so I get more or less a view of the ladder every time we hit the cobble over here. Okay, sealed working stuff. Okay, at least like this, I'll be able to see in the corner of my eye on the left whether a zombie is approaching or not. Okay, so it was well worth it getting into this place, although it's a little bit of a maze. Because we have forged iron, a level 2 pickaxe, thank you. And also... Oh crap, it's broken. Now, I can try and open it again. But remember what happened last time. Um, do we have lockpicks? Last time we used the TNT, it actually destroyed the block underneath and the whole chest dropped. We don't want that happening again. I'll have to come back. I have to note that this is still locked. We need to come back. Um, if I throw the TNT over there, that should work. But like I said, it's going to damage the block all around it. Let's try it. I can't afford to wait. And you know what? If it breaks, it breaks. Let's just do this. We're going to light it. Throw it there. And just walk this way. Please tell me that did something just now. Nope, it wasn't close enough. It's going to take forever to break through this thing. But I wonder if it's going to be worth it in the end. Let's try one more TNT. I know it's a waste of TNT. But if I can just throw it close close enough. Like for example, over here. We just destroy this block over here. If I throw the TNT right here and run, this should be enough to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's hope I didn't throw the TNT out too many zombies. Run, 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 run. But please tell me that damages it a little bit. Not even close. You know, guys, I think I'm just quickly going to break through this and then I'll be right back because we need whatever is in here. I can't afford to come through this place again. And I don't want to use my TNT now because it's not going to do enough damage. It's just going to break the block underneath, destroying this chest. Okay, so 3,010 HP left, and we have a visitor. And as you guys can see, we are starting to get lag again, which is really, really bad. Okay, so she is dead. I just wonder where all this lag is coming from again. Oh, wow, that block's almost destroyed underneath. Okay, so we made a little bit of space over here. Let's just make a little bit more. One feather. Oh, we should actually keep the feathers. I wanted to drop it, but for now, we need whatever's in here. And I can't afford to drop any feathers because we need more arrows later on. Okay, so about four minutes later, finally into the chest. Now, please tell me I got something good for all that effort. And that is crap. Well, silver we can actually sell for 650 tokens. And a stomaton, so that was really not worth it. Now, we need to get up there. I don't want to waste my frame, so we're going to nerd pole like this. Oh, come on, John. Keep up. This way up, and then this one over here should do. Okay, so we're on the ladder, and now we can pick up. And this is unlocked. Where does this lead to, though? That is locked. So we are locked in here, it seems. That is massively messed up. But at least this door is going to be a lot easier to break through than the, or the, this block, rather than the door. I wonder if lockpicks also work for the doors. In that case, that would be really awesome. I should actually see if I can make a forge as soon as possible. Because if we have the forge... Oh, come on, lag. If we have the forge, we can actually quickly make ourselves a bicycle. And then we can head to the trader and sell a few things. But there's definitely lag again, so I'm going to have to restart the game again. Untouched. I don't mind the la a little bit of lag, but when I'm trying to aim for a zombie, it is insanely difficult to hit them with this much lag. All of a sudden, it's smooth again. Okay, so, leather hood, what do we have on at the moment? Cap, 
that is 2 and each is 10. This is just for... Uh, so this is actually just for armor and then effect resistance and avoidability, uh, or rather mobility. Noise increase 10%. No, thank you. Okay, so we drop that there. Just want to make a little bit of space over here. We have a ton of iron already, so as soon as you find a junk turret, we're set. Everything else from there, though, we have to drop to make a little bit of space. We are too encumbered for my taste. Okay, I'm not sure how the food it water is doing, so I should really check up on that. Everything else up there. We just need to check that out. Food and water. Okay, food, 102. Water, it's a little bit low. So please don't make me sick. We don't have any golden rod in the area. So this can give me the sentry. And I'm going to keep the painkiller on me because that's an instant recharge. Damn, I need, I need to repair this, but we don't have any repair kits. If I'm not mistaken, repair kits cost that and that, right? So I should be able, yep, we should be able to make ourselves repair kits. Nice. So I'm going to be able to repair my shotgun and my iron pick. And then we need stone, which we have here, for these items. Nice. Okay, come on, come on, come on. It feels like it's going to take forever to repair these. But at least now we have a level 2 that's going to be properly repaired. Nope, we have to restart the game. This is way too much lag to handle. And also, I want to check what's behind that building over there that we at last time. Wait, that was... No, that was this time. That's the last time. Okay, but yeah, we quickly have to restart the game just to get a rid of this lag. Okay, it takes about half a minute to completely close down the game and reload the game. But at least it does get rid of the lag. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. It gets rid of most of the lag, let's just say that. I just really hope we're not going to get too much lag with this playthrough. This is going to suck to have that much lag all the time. Okay, so we have a ton of coal over here. Nice. That's a new PRI over there. I haven't seen that one before. That looks like a complete dungeon. Okay, now, we're going to try our luck over here. There should be boars in there that we can kill. Hopefully we can kill them fast enough because we don't have... Oh, we have 59 over there, so that shouldn't be too bad. Let's do this, and we can also repair right now. And the shotgun. Okay, like I said, we do have 52 arrows, but... As you guys know, boars are insanely OP. <laughs> it's so easy to kill you. Okay, now... Where? Please don't tell me there's a bear in here. Please, 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 no bear. And if there's a bear, please let me be able to outrun it. Now, I have my shovel on me still. So we should be able to get all the resources in here as well, which is a nice thing. Hello, zombie. I want him to come to me, so I'll rather let him break out. You know, let's just make a little bit of noise, help him out a bit. This should make enough noise so that more zombies spawn. Come on, are you the only one? I want the bones and stuff over there in that meat pile. But let's just first see if we can kill this guy. Oh crap, come on, give my spear back. Okay, thank you. So we're first going to make sure this place is clear of zombies before we start chopping everything up. No dogs, thank god. Okay, boars, I don't think attack you until you attack them. So for now, we should be safe, I hope. Oh crap, snakes. Quite a few it seems. Or is it just the one? Please don't <gasps> No, 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 no. Whew! Almost accidentally attacked the boar. Come on, come on, come on. It's insanely difficult to hit a snake as it slithers like this. Thank you. And now that should give me a little bit of meat as well. I think we'll definitely go for the ball as soon as we clear this place. Oh wow, why is it not doing any damage? That was really super weird. Okay, unfortunately, I can't see any f uh, of my arrows in the ground. So we'll skip that for now and hopefully there aren't any more snakes in here. Okay, so so far it doesn't seem like that ball's going to attack at you. It is a blessing. Let's quickly loot this. I need to run to the back of it to see if anything's going to fall in on us. Yeah, nothing. Okay, cool. This isn't the same form as I'm used to. Usually there's a bear in here. So it's definitely the one I was thinking about with a bear, but I don't see any bears. 
Ooh, nice. What was that? Advanced bellows. That's not the recipe. I think it's the thing we need. The bellows itself. Okay, so there is an ammo pile over there which we're going to get now. But I want to make sure we get one zombie at a time quickly. No, no, no. Let's just do that. I'm going to make sure we put the sl sledgehammer on back again. Oh, wow. That destroyed her just now. Okay, so I was a little bit hesitant just now. I didn't think we'd survive that. But we did, so that's awesome. Let's see, can I get this guy with a spear? One shot. Please, not too much drop. He's gonna fall in, he's gonna take my... ...thing with him. No, 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 come on, don't fall. Okay, so this floor is a cave-in floor. Which means we should really watch out as we're walking over here. We should be able to hold our weight, and... Okay, we should be set. There's a ton of resources over here, so I'm definitely going to be digging this up. Especially the f fact that we have... Hello? Um, especially the fact that we have an iron shovel. This is going to be a little bit faster. One more shot. Thank you. I should also be picking up all the hay bales because they're going to come in handy later on. But for now, we should be good. We should be golden. I want to make a space for these guys to get through because I don't want them falling underneath and then coming for me from behind. So let's just quickly chop this up. Hopefully there aren't any zombies above us. This seems like a perfect ch uh, chance for a zombie to fall in behind us. And there's nothing to the right of here, luckily. And let's just get one zombie on our case. We don't want to alert too many zombies at a time. Please don't fall in. Yeah, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Oh! Moment I thought it was gonna fall in, but it didn't. This is definitely one lucky zombie. He could have easily fell in just now. Okay, so please don't fall, please don't fall. As soon as she stands up, she's gonna fall through. Okay, so before she fell, I managed to kill her, but at a price. Damn. Okay, we need to break all this up, but first we need to make sure this place is clear. So for now, I think we're going to use one bandage, just in case he's already taken quite a few shots. Okay, nothing up here, it seems. Please don't tell me there's more cave and floor. And then we should be able to crouch over here. Quite a few people actually know about this one over here. Okay, there's a zombie over there. How many are there, though? Just this one or more? Hello. Oh, he's mad already. Let's see if I can kill him with a few arrows. And so I got him quite a few times already, but he's going to fall down. He's definitely going downstairs. Let's just do this. Bye-bye. Unfortunately, that didn't kill him. So now we have to watch out when we go back down there. And it is a... That's a soldier. Okay, so now, let's just put the shotgun on us. This is the last zombie I have to worry about, and it's a soldier. Okay, so we got the soldier. Yay! Now we just have to watch out for any other zombies coming after us, and this is locked again. Damn it! I can't afford to keep breaking through these. They take forever to break through. It's a shame we don't have any lockpicks here. I think I'm first going to loot this whole place, and then hopefully find a lockpick or two over here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Auger! We have an auger! Nice! So we're going to break through this chest quite fast then. Damn, I'm loving this so far. This is the luckiest I've been in Alpha 18 thus far, I think. And then meat stew. Nice. That could make a stick though, so I don't know if it's going to be worth it opening that up. Medium ammo pile. Thank you. Nice! Sledgehammer! Okay, so, please let the luck continue. Let the gods smile down upon me. Do I have any gas? No. Damn it, there's no gas in here. Uh, okay, so I should really go get some gas first and then come back over here. Because we need to chop all of this up. And we need gas for the auger. 
Okay, so let's just do this. Get out of there. Zombies. So, jumping over here could kill me. I, I wonder if it's going to be worth the jumping up. Because sometimes jumping over here, it does cave in. Let's just see if I put a little bit of weight on top of it. Okay, so it seems they might have fixed it. I'm not quite sure. Let's just hope they did because otherwise this is going to break my leg. Going for resources over here, I know you can actually kill yourself. So you have to be careful of that. Jump up. The whole point of this is you have to get on this corner over here so you don't miss the ladder over there. Jump! Ooh, I just fell. That was lucky. Okay, what's in here? What's in here? What's in here? No zombies. Nice. Okay, I am encumbered, so this might be a little bit dangerous. Let's just drop a few things over here. Uh, hello. I know it's a waste to drop some of these things, but I need space. Dear God, please don't let me fall. Thank you. Oh! And he's down there waiting for me. Let's quickly grab our shotgun. Hopefully it is reloaded. No, it's not. Okay, so. Power attack, power attack, power attack. Thank you. Oh, he broke in here quite fast, I should say. Now, hidden stash. Please, please, please. Great heist. 20 more percent damage to land claim property. Not gonna need that right now, I think. Okay, that sucks. Okay, so I'm quickly going to run back to my base and just grab a little bit of gas. The next episode, we're going to start here looting it and digging up all these resources over here. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? Did I miss anything? What do you guys think about this episode about my luck and all with the auger? Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.